Nigeria's economic future is largely dependent on the abundant resources found in its vast and fertile lands and rivers. Not only do agriculture and fisheries form the foundation of our economy, but they also sustain our communities by supplying employment, food, and a route to a better future. The Association of Nigerian Fisheries Scientists held its fifth annual conference and general meeting recently at Unilag, Julius Berger or Akoka Lagos. Theme of the conference this year was Sustainable Fisheries and Aquaculture Production for Enhancing Livelihood in Nigeria Economic Development. The conference was geared towards sensitizing marine scientists, ensuring that they get involved in more research and take actions towards a sustainable economic revival and development in the aspect of fishery and the team, sustainable fisheries and agricultural production for enhancing livelihood in Nigeria economic development. In attendance was the Director of Academic Planning, Professor Soji Iloi, representing the Vice-Chancellor, University of Lagos, Professor Folashade Ogunshola, Mr. Usman Garuba, representing the Honorable Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Olori wife of Oni of Ife Queen, Toby Phillips Ogunwusi. Professor Emmanuel Aldu, also representing the Honorable Commissioner of Agriculture, Lagos State, Mrs. Abisola Olusonya, amongst other distinguished guests. The conference brought together experts and stakeholders in food production to brainstorm and prefer solutions to the various issues faced by farmers and scientists in economic growth. It also featured a session for training and a workshop on how to write grants in order to get the funding needed in any area of research and development of sustainable solutions. The keynote speaker, Professor Abiodun Sule, gave insight on fish as a source of food and its importance in economic growth. He identified overfishing as an issue in several fishery crimes which could undermine the sustainability of marine fishery resources. The keynote speaker pushed for the collective efforts from the government, private sector and all other stakeholders in ensuring establishment of funds, collection of relevant data. There was also the recognition and presentation of plaques to the sponsors of the conference followed by a short address by Queen Toby Phillips and rounded off with a vote of thanks by the chairperson local organizing committee Professor Adeshola Oshibono. Investing in fisheries and aquaculture is an investment in Nigeria's future. These vibrant industries sustain our people and fortify our economy. Well, um, funding has been a fundamental problem in virtually all sectors. And that's the more reason why once in a while you find every sector going to have a convention declaring 26% of national budget, some will advocate 10%, some 30%. But if you go by this percentage, virtually by the time you go around all the, fact, uh, all the various sectors, you end up having more than 100% of the budget, which is an impossibility. So like I said, funding has been a problem. Uh, but specifically for the fisheries sector, uh, you find out that uh, very few resources go into the fisheries sector. And for the federal government, they have looked at it very seriously. And that is the more reason why the president of this country, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, initiated the immediate takeoff of the National Agricultural Development Fund. This fund is expected to sponsor all sectors of agriculture, particularly he has an interest in fisheries as well as livestock. Now what he is trying to do is to form you know, an institution that will have a different template of funding agricultural activities. Agricultural activities is seasonal, it's time bound to the extent that if you rely only on budget, you are not likely to meet you know, the research um, target that you have. So the best thing there is to have both the budget as well as a funding template, similar to what is obtainable for the education sector, like TED Fund. With the theme of this year conference, Sustainable um, Fisheries and Aquaculture Production, the team has been carefully uh, taken to enable and cause awareness amongst 
Nigerians so that our fisheries will not be over exploited. The, uh, the, the ocean is such a large and it is such a large uh, capacity that can take as much as it is. However, there is need for us as individuals, community, organization, scientists to be able to maintain the resources that we have in the marine uh, um, environment. Very much. Uh, I'm the president of uh, Association of Nigerian Fishery Scientists. And my name is uh, Professor Bamidele Oluwarutu Miyomitoyi from the University of Ibadan, Nigeria. As an, as, as, as an association, uh, we started, we, reg we were registered in 2015. We had a lot of challenges taking up because we have other uh, sister associations uh, in the country. But our goal as an association is to bring up scientists and uh, mentors, scientists, young scientists, to ensure that we have the right people in the right place for research and development. And for research that will be able to improve the industry, research that will be able to contribute to food security, research that will be able to produce manpower that will drive the aquaculture and fisheries industry, and to to, 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 to train uh, uh, young minds in this profession that will be able to uh, solve the problem of food security in the country. Synthesize our people to ensure that we go into more research, to ensure that we have enough food even for the nation and also for the neighboring nation. Most especially when we are talking about the uh, fishery sector. So this year uh, conference is very unique because we are bringing all the stakeholders together to brainstorm, to see where we have actually got it wrong. We are going back to the drawing board to see how we will be able to move forward. And that's the essence of this uh, conference. Together, we are creating a future in which fisheries and agriculture serve as more than just sources of food and income. They are also markers of advancement and promise for everyone.